and a half, and it is Revelin Pleasure who's right up on the outside of Elisier de Niege, who makes his handicap debut here. They're the leading pair. Russian Bill sits in third in behind. Ice Cool, the elderly member of the party, the 11-year-old, jumps it towards the outside. And then behind this leading four is the McManus Silks of Impatient Partner, who's towards the inside of Abraham. Just in behind these is Crazy Heart, with towards the inside in the sheepskin noseband brawler. Wasting out wide is Macho Mover. And last of all, as they land out over flight number two is Rebel Early. So they continue on down now. They're heading towards the end of the back straight, towards flight number three, and Elisier de Niege is just about taking over the lead, being followed in second by Revelin Pleasure, who races a shade keenly. Ice Cool is third. Russian Bill is towards the inside. Abraham is next. Widest of all is Macho Mover as they clear that one and race on right down towards the end of the back straight. Brawler was a little awkward in jumping. So they've cleared three, and they'll shortly race into the turn, and it's Elisier de Niege who begins to go clear from Revelin Pleasure who leads the main body of the field. Ice Cool is on this one's outside. Russian build the inner, and they're being followed just in behind by Abraham, impatient partner. Brawler is towards the inside. Matcher Mover is wide, and Rebel Early is last of all for the Liam Burke team, who were saddled an impressive bumper winner last Sunday at Thurlis. So it's Elisier de Neige, as I say, making his handicap debut. Hugh Morgan aboard for Henry de Bromhead, winner of a maiden hurdle at Limerick in December, being followed in second by the 11-year-old Ice Cool, Adam Short aboard for Val O'Brien. They're the leading pair, Russian Bill and Conor McNamara, who've just heard far aboard this runner for Noel Mead. And they're being followed just in behind by Revel and Pleasure. Gavin Bruder aboard this one. They land out over the next and make their way now. On the turn, Crazy Heart further back in the field in the red jacket, Sean O'Keefe. He'll be aboard General Principal and are rather out Salmon, the big one, the reserve that gets a run. Impatient partner is next. Owen Walsh aboard for JP McManus and Noel Mead. Towards this one's inside then, the sheepskin of Brawler. Peter Fahey trains, Tommy Brett aboard. He'd a winner a couple of days ago, did Tommy. Towards the outside is Rebel Early. Barry Brown aboard this one as they continue now to make their way up the straight. Abraham and Connor Brassel, impressive winner last time out for his dad Martin as they continue to make their way over the first of the two in the straight. Elisir Arduñez takes them along in the Adair Manor Opportunity Handicap. In second is Ice Cool and third is Revel and Pleasure. Russian Bill is on the inside of Crazy Heart Match, a mover is wide, impatient partners in the centre. Towards the inside is Brawler, Rebel Early just in behind as they make their way on now towards the flight which will be their last in a circuit's time. Flight six this time around, 12 and all to be jumped and they're pretty tightly bunched with with the only exception being the leader, and that is Elisier Dignes, who's two to three clear from Ice Cool in second. They're being followed by Revel and Pleasure over on the far side is Russian Bill. Crazy Heart sits five in the red jacket and then almost a line of five behind Brawler, Macho Mover and the centre and patient partner just in between them, Abraham, and just a neck or so behind them is Rebel Early, the only mare on the field as they turn now to make their way down along the back straight and past the departure point in short. It's Elisier de Niege who leads from ice cool, Revel and Pleasure towards the inside is Russian Bill towards the outside Crazy Heart. Brawler is tucked in down the inner with impatient partner for company. Abraham's a little wider out and Rebel Early is wider again as they go now towards the first of three, bringing them down along the back in the Adair Manor. And it's Elazier de Neige who leads over from Ice Cool. Crazy Hearts on the outside of Russian Bill, who's just had to hold his position there. Revel and Pleasure's in between them as they make their way on now towards flight number eight. Elisier de Neige, if anything, lengthening the advantage. Could be four to five lengths or so on this angle. Ice Cool is second. Revel and Pleasure, Crazy Heart, and on the inside is Russian Bill. But at this point in the race, they're going to the final one down along the back straight. Elisier de Neige is opening up. Which one do we think Jane Ted just might close the gap? Yeah, this guy's loving it out in front. Hugh Morgan is getting a great tune out of him, as he did down in Limerick. Russian Bill is running a good race down the inside, as is Revel and Pleasure after losing his pitch now. He was upsides in front at the beginning. He's after dropping back to mid-div, but this horse in front, he's really loving the conditions. And I think if Hugh Morgan can get a breeder into him up the hill, he's going to take a bit of catching. Yes, well, it's the son of Box Boom, Elisier Dignes, who's clear by still this three to four lengths. Ice Cool is keeping tabs on this leader. Russian Bill's on the inside of Crazy Heart. Revel and Pleasure is next, trying to make a little ground on the inside. There's not much room there as Brawler. They're being chased by Abraham. Impatient Partner is now just about the back marker alongside Macho Mover. Needs to find a little bit of room as they continue on now towards the next. Elisier Dignes going to lead from Ice Cool, Crazy Heart, Revel and Pleasure being followed on the inside Russian Brill. Brawler 
smaller is just behind this one. This is their third last flight before the turn in, and it's Elise Yardinier with Ice Cool. Now impatient partner. Good move there from Owen Walsh. She switched him wide to make a real decisive move on the outside. It wasn't happening down the inner. The one that's gone right through them now, Rebel Early, and Barry Brown gets into contention. They begin the turn towards home. There is any with chances here. Elise Yardinier not so far in front now. Rebel Early is coming on terms. Right behind them is Crazy Heart. They're being followed by a ridden along Ice Cool and patient partner, but Elise Yardinier lengthened into that one, took a couple of lengths and now begins to really stamp authority and second is Rebel Early, Crazy Heart has ridden, they've gone clear for the minor money battle but it's Elise Yardinier towards the final flight for Hugh Morgan, in second is Rebel Early, they go away from Crazy Heart and Patient Partners trying to stay on Elise Yardinier at the last from Rebel Early who's not just quite going away and is trying to rally now on the near side Elise Yardinier the far, Rebel Early trying to take over on the near and Rebel Early is coming home, best for Barry Brown and Liam Burke and it's Rebel Early who beats the long time leader Elise Yardinier Russian Bill, Crazy Heart and Patient Partner Macho Mover, Rebel and Pleasure Brawler Abraham and the final finisher was ice cold when it looked all the way turning into the straight as though Elise Yardinier may hold on but Rebel Early quickened up very very smartly won a maiden hurdle back in Clonmel in February of last year has stepped up here the only mare in the field Liam Burke yard on form he took a very impressive bump win at Thurlison Sunday he's back to winning ways here on Thursday Boy, I didn't see that happening at the last. I thought it was all Elisia Deneige, but uh, Rebel Early, Ted, he, he uh, well, she, I should say, quickened up really well. Yeah, Hugh Morgan looked like he gave the front runner a lovely ride, gave it a breather up the hill and quickened off the bend. Uh, but just from the back of the last, uh, Barry Brown got a right tune on a Rebel Early and he sprinted clear. He looks well held here. He's only in third place. He goes by Sean O'Keefe and Crazy Heart. It's a long run in here at Gordon. It's a long ways up, but I still thought this horse set him up for momentum. Uh, Hugh Morgan had given him a lovely ride, sick in his left hand, slapped him down the shoulder, jumps the last well, but the other horse just got into top gear. It's a long ways up. You don't think it. you stand in the stands and fellas will be telling you, they know what won down there. Look at this. It's only in the last 50 metres. He gets his neck in front and the wings going away, maybe a length, length and a half. Good ride by Barry Brown, but a very good ride by Hugh Morgan on the second as well. We always praise the winning rider. Barry Brown's having a great run, right? A lot of winners for Oliver McKiernan, and Hugh Morgan is having a great run as well, too. Rides a lot for Henry, I think, rides out there. Uh, smashing two smashing young riders. There's a half a dozen lads that rode in that race there.